South Africa has dragged Israel to court once again. Now the country has urged the International Court of Justice to order a stop on Israeli assaults in Rafa. Right, Shivan, and this comes as Israel has stepped up its offensive in the Gaza Strip, even when aid agencies, they continue to warn against the looming threat of famine. Well, the hearing comes after South Africa requested the court to issue further constraints on Israel's military advancements in Gaza. South Africa cited the quote-unquote irreparable harm over Israel's incursion in Rafah, where over a million people have sought refuge. South Africa's filings claim that this is the last step in the total destruction of Gaza. It charged Israel of disrupting the flow of humanitarian aid to Gaza, referring to IDF's control over two major crossings at Rafah and Kerem Shalom. Well, the United States has warned that the humanitarian situation in Gaza has continued to worsen. The U.S.'s State Department has asked Israel to do more to protect civilians at the moment and also to allow sustained aid deliveries in the north and the south of the Strip. The department has said that not just food but also the supply of fuel has totally collapsed in Gaza, creating roadblocks for distribution of resources inside the Strip. Meanwhile, the United Nations has said that land access is the most effective way to stave off famine in Gaza. This despite U.S. efforts to anchor a floating pier in Gaza to boost aid deliveries. The U.N. has warned of difficulties over distribution of aid, warning that maritime access was no substitute for land. The U.S. has said that trucks are expected to make way into the Strip in the coming days. Getting aid to people in need into and across Gaza cannot and should not depend on a floating dock far from where needs are most acute. To stave off the horrors of famine, we must use the fastest and most obvious route to reach the people of Gaza. And for that, we need access by land now. Spain has refused docking permission for ships carrying arms for Israel at its ports. The decision comes after Spanish authorities intercepted a shipping vessel carrying ammunition for Tel Aviv for the first time. Meanwhile, in a bid to commemorate the hostages taken away during the October 7th attacks last year, Berlin's historic site of Nazi book burnings, which is called Bebelplatz, was turned into a memorial on Thursday. It has been symbolically renamed to Hamas Hostages Square with plastic chairs installed along, uh, along with the photographs of the hostages. The Arab League summit has also called for an immediate ceasefire in the fighting during Thursday's meeting in Bahrain. The leaders urged for Israeli troops to pull out of the strip and, I'm quoting here, lift the blockade on civilians. The declaration also called for increased international intervention while echoing the two-state solution.